United States Highway 209. Uh, okay, US 209 is a child route of US 9, although its parent is actually US 9 West. It meets it in New York, but we'll be talking about Pennsylvania's portion of US 209 here. Here is the map. Despite the fact that the road is designated north-south, it actually runs more east-west. The road goes from Millersburg through some small towns up to Matamoras. Buckle your seatbelts, not just because it's the law, but there's some questionable stuff coming. You're watching the Xavier 456. I post new highway content every week. If you like what you're seeing, give us a like. And if you really like the content I make, subscribe. Ring the bell, do all the stuff. Now I should remind you that you can request your exit or intersection in the comments below. Next week, we will be doing US 219, my version. Alright, let's get into it. First, we're going to talk about northbound, US 209 in Pennsylvania. Here's where we start, at PA 147 in Millersburg, and we can see North 209 gets a control city of Elizabethville. What is Elizabethville? And besides, that's actually the next town over! Pennsylvania is at it again with signing their secondaries. We get Elizabethville at 8 miles, but our primary is actually Pottsville, which is 43 miles away. That is pretty good. The only reason we signed Elizabethville previously was because of PA 225. A lot of these secondaries are signed because of intersections with PA highways. But with that said, Pottsville is still holding up 32 miles away and Lycans at 2. Here we are meeting I-81, getting a wrong control city of Hazleton when it should be Wilkes-Barre or Scranton, and a correct city of Harrisburg. If we look on I-81, the control cities for US-209 are now Tremont and Tower City. So yeah, we swapped out Pottsville with Tremont. This is a common thing to do on the interstate, signing highways for the next towns over. But once we're in Tremont, Pottsville comes back onto the mix, and it's 11 miles away. Here's a quick look at downtown Pottsville. As you can see, North 209 will be turning right. And from this point, US 209 North gets control city of Tamaqua. And that is a good choice. Finally, a good direction sign with a good control city. But I can't say the same for Tremont. When we get our next mileage sign, Tamaqua is still holding up at 13 miles, and we get New Philadelphia. Really? Why would you have another Philadelphia in Pennsylvania when you already have one? The largest city in the whole state. Here we are in Tamaqua, and we meet PA 309. It is getting really good control cities for a state highway. Hazleton and Allentown. I love it. And as for US 209, we're getting Coaldale and Lansford. Okay, that's where I draw the line. There is no major intersection in either of those little towns, so I would just skip right to Lehighton. That's it. You're getting this, US 209. Once we're in Lansford, our control city becomes Neskehening. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right at all, but really? Five miles away? I guess they're only signing this because of the intersection with PA 54, but it just goes back westbound. You really wouldn't want to double back. Though our bottom line is not that Norley High 10, unfortunately. It is Jim Thorpe. They're signing this because of PA 903, which is actually a free route to the Pocono Raceway. Though PA 903 is signed for Lake Harmony and Blakesley. Those are probably the best we can do. And if we look on the sign up here, we can finally see Lehigh 10. It is only three miles away, and it takes you this long just to get to Lehigh 10 on this road? Here we meet PA 476 with the Pennsylvania tradition of not signing the control cities from the road we intersect with. And it provides the faster route to the place I mentioned earlier, however, tolls. This was requested by Quatermatch 437 so thank you for that. Looking on the interchange itself, we can see 209 North is now signed for Stroudsburg which is an I-80 city, but works really well for 209. Stroudsburg holds up on the bottom line at 27 miles away, though we also do get Crestgeville 9 miles away. For briefly joining up with PA-33, also requested by Quartermatch 437, and we're signed for Stroudsburg. 33 South is signed nicely for Bethlehem and Easton because it doesn't go into either of the towns, it goes between them, but you can reach them via US-22. But of course, since we're approaching I-80, we get our awful stuff. Now the reason they're signing to West-80 and to East-80 is because they'll only allow you to access those directions of I-80 with the route provided. First off, with the northbound 33, it should not be Bartonsville, that's like a neighborhood according to Google Maps. That should be something bigger, but I don't know what it should be. And Hazleton, of course you know what it should be. Cleveland, or State College. And North 209 to East 80 is signed for Stroudsburg. 
So if you're signing two cities on the left sign, you better put New York City on that right sign. And crud, we are merging into I-80. When we split off from I-80, we get a control city of Marshall's Creek. That is actually an unincorporated town. What this should be is like Milford or something. However, Milford does actually appear on the bottom line, 33 miles away. And I'm fine with signing this US highway for it, as I was fine with signing US 6 for it. Here we meet US 206, and it's actually only like a half a mile in Pennsylvania because it's almost entirely in New Jersey. It gets a rare shield. And for this sign in particular, I am uncertain about signing New Jersey here. It is quite a distance to a big town like Newton or Branchville. I don't know if those should be signed here, but maybe New Jersey would work. Here we are in Milford, and we join up with US 6, so for the rest of this, I'll leave you to the US 6 video for this last bit of road we have. So now we're gonna turn around and talk about southbound US 209 in Pennsylvania and it really should be westbound. Also, this includes a business route. Let's quickly have another look at that gateway to Pennsylvania sign, which is quite weird. In Milford, we split off US 6, and we get US 209 south to US 206, so that's helpful. Here we have the same situation where 206 is just signed for New Jersey and for nothing else, and probably for good reason. Though if we look on the sign here, we get three cities for each direction. For us, we get Demon's Ferry, Bushkill, and Stroudsburg, so Stroudsburg's our bottom line, that's fine. And going northbound, we get Milford and Port Jervis, okay, and Scranton, and I actually like that, that's actually for US 6. If you need to go back to Scranton, you can use US 6 westbound. Here we split from US 209's main road to go into Truck South US 209, basically the business route, and this one will take us through Stroudsburg. I am going on this route to avoid I-80's most offensive sign. Like, really. One exit left. Pennsylvania do a big dump here. East Stroudsburg and nothing else. Four miles. East Stroudsburg. Why couldn't you have just normal Stroudsburg on a mileage sign for heaven's sake? Why am I gonna get you for signing a super dumb city, you stupid little- Well, once we're away from the so-called East Stroudsburg, we enter Normal Stroudsburg, and this is what the downtown looks like. Quite forested. Business 209 has its own intersection with 80 and Normal US 209 here. But if we look up on I-80 itself, we can see US 209 and PA-33 are getting a control city of Snydersville. Again, that is unincorporated. And they're only signing it because there's nowhere where the both of them go, and they can't make up their mind on what to sign. Your best option would probably be Lehighton and Allentown. That's right, two control cities. Not one, two. But anyways, the business route also has an intersection with PA-33 itself. It gets the awesome control city of Easton and the awful control city of Bartonsville, which should be something bigger. And as for the business route we're signed for, Snydersville. The two last towns that the business route goes through are both unincorporated, so this should be Lehighton. One of these unincorporated towns is Scioto, and it took us until here that we finally meet the main road again. South 209, we have a right turn. And yes, Lehighton is our bottom line at 21 miles, and we get Broadheadsville at 3 miles. Here is the meet with the Pennsylvania Turnpike, I-476, once again, without any control cities. I haven't showed you Lehighton yet, this is what it looks like from US-209. Though, of course, from here, our control city becomes Jim Thorpe and not something like Tamaqua. Though I would understand it more in this direction, because since the road is actually angling north here, it provides a better connection to PA-903. When we saw this sign previously, we see that we now get a control city of Neskehaneng, as was before, though signing it in this direction, again, is much more effective than signing it the other way, because PA-54 goes westbound and 209 is angling in the direction of which you want to take that. Here you meet PA-54, and it is a lot easier to take it this way when going south on 209, and then continue west on it since we're angling that way. This was requested by Quartermatch 437. PA-54 here is signed for Mahanoy City, so we're skipping hometown, so I'm not sure what city to put there. As for us, we now get Lansford and Tamaqua. 
I'm glad we're not getting Coaldale this time. Tamakwa, way to go. Stupid left lane sign blocking the direction sign, but at least I can make out the cities. Allentown and Hazelton both signed for PA309 here, perfectly done, and we now get Pottsville. That is just right, the sign's great. Here in Pottsville, we meet with PA61, and it's getting an awesome control city of Reading, and St. Clair, which I'm not a fan of, but I think it's the best we can do. And 209 here is now signed for Tremont which I don't like. But Pennsylvania has been signing its secondaries much more than it has been signing its primary, so let's see what they do. Here we get our next mileage sign, and we see Tremont. Only 10 miles away on the bottom line. And Minersville, only two miles away. Okay, let me tell you all something before you say I'm gonna explode. So, Minersville is actually on PA 901, and Minersville is quite sizable for a highway of its stature, but Tremont is still being signed here on US 209, 10 miles away. So I really hope it's not the primary. After our intersection with PA 901, we get another mileage sign. We get Tremont, 9 miles away on the bottom line. And we get Llewellyn at one mile. Pendot, can I please ask you just one question? WHY IS LLEWELLYN ON THE SIGN?! YOU DON'T NEED THAT THERE! THIS SHOULD BE TREMONT AND MILLERSBURG! You know, it's because it's the end of the road, and it's not that much farther away? Oh my freaking lord, why would you want to swap out Millersburg with the Welsh-named town? No offense to the residents or the Welsh people, but it's very small. Ugh. This is the most angry I've been at on mileage sign so far. Let's just friggin' move on. Though, after that big outburst, Pennsylvania decides to make up for it in Tremont and sign Millersburg 35 miles away, instead of signing it from Pottsville. We're finally not losing sight of Millersburg. It is 31 miles away, with Tower City at 6 miles. Here we meet PA 147, and US 209 ends here. Like, for real, did Pennsylvania even have to go all out with horrible stuff on this road? I mean, they do it all the time, so it should be expected. Anyways, that's it for US 209. I will see you on US 219. I will be losing my mind again.